everyone, it's Sam, and today is Wednesday, June 14th, and I am, was just about to head into work. I work at a New York City public school as a paraprofessional. I've been doing this for eight years, seven years in pre-K, and I thought I would vlog, sorry, it's, you know, we're in a city, so there's a lot of honking and stuff, <laughs> and noise. Um, I thought I would vlog the last week of school. Technically, there's nine days left, including today, but I just thought about it, and it's my, so I have today to do, and then next Wednesday is my last Wednesday, and if you look at it that way, it's just, time is flying, and it's always a mix of emotions. I mean, we made it through the year. I'm happy that the year is over, but I do love a lot of these children, and um, I can't wait to see what's in store for them. Anyway, I'm about to head inside. I want to show you my, my workstation before anybody else gets here. It's about 7.25, and school does not start for children until uh, 8.10. Here's my little workstation, <laughs> and I found this on the streets. There's always stuff to pick up around here at this neighborhood. Um, just have all the things that I, I need throughout the day. It's not really a desk, see? <laughs> Here's my actual cubby. But I don't use it really that much anymore. It's more like storage. And then I thought I would do my outfit of the day, but keep in mind that I work with four-year-olds and I need to be comfortable <laughs> uh, but uh, normally I don't wear oh this is the Arism hoodie I absolutely love it it is lightweight but still keeps me gives me coverage if I need it uh, old navy t-shirt old navy jeans and those are my sneakers and yeah it's my lunch and I'm coming here uh, I usually order from here, but they're closing. I'm so sad the owner is not uh, renewing their lease. I'm, and they have one of the best lunch specials in the neighborhood. I got, um, which I'll show you, um, I got uh, drunken noodles with a soup and it was like, and I got mixed vegetables so it's cheaper, but usually I get shrimp and that's only like 12, 13 bucks. I'm trying. I'm trying to order as much as possible um, before they are not there anymore. Hey, it is Thursday, June fifteenth, and it's technically my Friday because I took off tomorrow. And we also have off on Monday for Juneteenth. I wanted to make it an extra long weekend, and I. Since I didn't get a lot of filming done yesterday, I thought I would film what I use in the mornings when I get ready in the car. Um, in the mornings at home, I I get up and I go. Because I spend so much time in the car, I have so much time in the car in the morning when I get here, usually. Um, I have about like a half an hour to 45 minutes. It's right now, it is about seven. I was gonna look for my phone, but I'm using my phone to film. I have about another 10 minutes in the car and I like to be in at 7.30. The children don't come in until 8.10 and most of the time I can do it, but other times I, I spend my mornings looking for parking, which is not so fun. Uh, so the first thing I use is this Origins Ginseng Moisturizer and I really like this. It's lightweight and there's a really nice citrus scent that kind of wakes you up. And then I use a primer. Uh, the primer that I'm finishing up is this Becca First Light Priming Filter. And it's a small size. I like to, if I can, bring smaller sizes. And then I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I really like this. Oh, I think there's a hair on my lip, of course. <laughs> uh, this is really great coverage. You don't need a lot. And that's all, I don't use foundation. That's just a little too much work. And then next I use the, my favorite powder of all time. It is the It Cosmetics Celebration Illumination, uh, It Cosmetics, sorry, that hair is still bothering me. Uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination. And I think their, their names are kind of crazy long. Uh, but this powder, I could wear it by itself. I should probably move on to the medium. Right now I'm using light. But this foundation has so much coverage. 
please, I apologize for the blue, but we are doing easel at school. And um, it gets messy. It's under my shoes. It's, it got on my clothes, but it's, it's to be washed. And then next, I brought, I bring this with me. This is the Stephen Klein and NARS collab, and it has powder, highlighter, no, sorry, powder, bronzers, and blushes. I mostly use these just so I could, if I wanted to ever do bronzer, which I normally don't, or I could use it as eyeshadow as well. And then, oh, the brushes that I use for the powder is this. Sometimes I use a powder puff. Sorry for the noise, garbage truck. Uh, and then this is the brush that I use for blush. And, and I think this is um, from Target, the Up and Up, and it's really great. This could be used for blush and bronzer. And then for mascara, um, well, the eyelash curler I use is the Sonia Kashuk. This is one of my favorites. And then another favorite of mine is Tweezerman. And I'm using, I just finished my CoverGirl Lash Blast, which was my favorite. This one is pretty good as well. And just so you can see, it's pretty good. And I always get the waterproof because my lashes, if I don't use waterproof, they go whoop instead of up, keep staying up. And then the last makeup product that I use is the It Cosmetics uh, Brow. And that's just the one that I'm using at the moment. And then to finish it off, I use a setting spray. This is my favorite one, but I, I have, I just finished up the, it's still in my garbage here, uh, but I don't put in my car, side note, in my, I have a garbage bag, uh, but I don't ever put any food or anything that could spoil. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury, this was good, but the smell I couldn't get past. I did use it up though. Uh, but the e.l.f. Uh, setting spray is my favorite one. It works really well. I really like it. And that is my makeup. Um, I'm going to go in soon. And, um, oh, later today, I'm going to go visit my grandmother. She's in, she left the hospital. I think I had mentioned in another video. Maybe I didn't. She was in the hospital. And then she, she was in there for two weeks. And then she got out like last week and she's in rehab now uh, so I'm gonna go visit her later I'm gonna bring her some uh, snacks and things like that hey look at me I am another view parked in my car I just got home about 10 minutes ago sometimes when I drive for long periods of time I just need to decompress um, I got home about 5:45, and normally I get home around 3 30 4 o'clock there was a ton of traffic going to my grandmother's rehab today. It was insane. It took me about an hour when it should take me about like 35 minutes, if that is an indication of how bad the traffic was. My grandmother's doing really well. She's was in the hospital for two weeks for congestive heart failure and retaining fluid. Nothing new for us. She's been in and out of the hospital for that for the last few years, even though she doesn't remember that. <laughs> um, and then now she's in rehab. This is going to be almost her second week. Um, but she's getting better, and you don't want to push these things. She wants to get out of there, but she knows that she's not strong enough. I just spoke to her about it earlier. Uh, but I know she's starting to feel better because she kind of asked me to get her stuff that doesn't make any sense and just talking about like other things that not related to anything um so yeah i know she's feeling better for those of you who have like kind of complicated family relationships i'm sure you understand what i mean um so yeah she's doing better i'm glad i'm home i have four days off i was gonna get gas and go to the grocery store but i decided i'll just do that tomorrow since i have the day off and I will, my sister was making dinner for us today, which is a treat because normally I do the cooking. Um, so I'm excited. She's been wanting uh, thin like beef cutlets. Oh, there's the Sheba. Hold on, let me show you. Sheba. It's so cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can see the furry tail. Anyway, I will um, try to film some more today. And here's dog number two. I forgot to show you when I said hi to Ava. Look, she thinks she... She, she's barking at herself. That's you. That's you. Hey, it is Friday. I didn't film at all today. And we did so many things. I'm so, like, bad at this. But we are, oh boy. Oh, it's connected to my phone. 
I couldn't figure out how to turn it off, so I just turned the whole audio off. We are picking up Shake Shack, and if you're familiar with this area, we're in Edison. This is where we're, this is behind Menlo Mall, Menlo Park Mall. There's True Food Kitchen. These are new. Um, over there is McDonald's, and then we have, oh, hold on, the food is here. It is Saturday night, actually, and uh, so that is June 17th. And I, uh, we did a few errands this morning, or noonish, and then we had to go to uh, our friend's 40th birthday party, which was very, very nice. The food was amazing, but it was all heavy food, uh, so like we didn't even. So that was from three to five. It's currently nine now. We didn't even really that count it as dinner. But my sister did request when I came home for us, uh, for she really was in the mood for cornbread. And I was like, you know what? I think we have all the ingredients, so I'll make it. So I'm going to show you. Here it is. And those spots are pats of butter that I put down. But it smells good. I'm trying this new recipe. It's supposed to be the fluffiest, moistest, is that a word? Moistest? <laughs> Moist uh, cornbread just a regular regular cornbread i was gonna make jalapeno but she just requested the regular normal one and i will let you know how it how it tastes it, it has to cool down i just get out of the oven it has to cool down for about 20 minutes hi it is sunday june 18th happy father's day and i didn't film much today it's the weekend i was thinking about it and it's a weekend and i'm trying to do a vlog of my last week uh, but I did want to share with you the update to my garden so hold on the rain really helped the other day um, so that's my jalapenos and they're coming in really fast and strong do you see how many are there uh, these are little seedlings that I transplanted but I don't think they're doing too well they're growing very slow that one's doing great though uh, here's my basil that I have to propagate I tried, but I cut them too short, um, so I gotta do it like, I was doing it like all the way up here, but I think I have to do it from the bottom there. And then here are my tomato plants that are growing. They have, they haven't doubled in size, but are definitely getting taller. Hey, today is Tuesday, June 20th. We had off yesterday for Juneteenth, and I'm parked and just putting on my makeup. I got a parking spot which is amazing there aren't any more left right now hopefully they'll open up as my co-workers come um, because two of them also drive their cars uh, I'm gonna be staying I'm so tired I didn't get that great of a sleep because I've been off since Friday and my schedule's all wackadoo on the weekends it just gets so crazy because I'm a natural night owl and I'm tired um, but we have today we have to stay uh, I'm only mentioning my sleep because of course I have to stay later today and tomorrow for next year's play date and that's when we meet the children that are going to be attending pre-k next year and unfortunately they're supposed to be like about 50 but only 20 have signed up um, and I get it the schedules might not these were already rescheduled from when we had the smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Uh, the good thing about today and tomorrow is we get paid to stay later and it's a quick way to earn some some money. We are getting paid for it. There was, there was um, a thought that maybe we weren't and I wasn't going to stay unfortunately. Uh, but we're getting paid and but I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll see you later. So We're at the playground now and look. It's so what is this? What is this again? I know. On top of a mushroom. mushroom. Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 21st. Happy first day of summer. I was listening to the radio and technically it's not the first day of summer until 11 a.m. Uh, which I find very interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm parked. I squeeze into a spot this small, but I'm telling you with the sensors and the mirrors and the backup camera, you could park anywhere. I had drove past this spot once and then the second time I was like, let me just try and I am able to fit. 
it's going to be hard for me to get out, but I'll worry about that when it's time. I'm just very happy that I got, uh, was able to fit here. And I keep on seeing my coworker drive by, but I think she could fit in the spot in front. She has a smaller car. Um, but that's a journey that you take on your own, I guess. Um, I didn't film that much yesterday. You know, when it gets to the last couple of weeks of school, it's just, we're glad that it's here, but it, there is a lot of stuff that we have to do. I started cleaning throughout the year. Kids draw me pictures and I hang it up on the walls because they're kind of bare. And so I have the most of the time I have them write their name so that at the end of the year, I started doing this a couple years ago. At the end of the year, I could put it in their mailboxes and they could take it home. Um, I had, I did do that for everyone and I'm going to do that next year where I write their names on the back and they don't write their names so that they can have it. And then we also, I have to stay late. I think I mentioned that yesterday, today and tom yesterday we stay late for the new kids that are coming in next year. We only had, so there was two groups at different times. We only have five in one and one in another. And in the last one, that was, that's where we had the one child. And we didn't stay around for that just because it was one child versus six adults. That's kind of too intimidating. Anyway, today should be much fuller. And traffic wasn't that bad going home considering I left around four-ish. And today it's going to be even later because we have two full groups. Anyway, uh, I'll try to film. But like I said, it gets kind of crazy towards the end of the year. Um, I'm going to go in a little bit early. It's... Let's see what time it is. It's 7.16. I usually go in at like 7.20, 7.25. But I want to do some work on the computer. And yeah, we're getting there five more days. Hey, today is Thursday, June 22nd. It is going to be our end of the year. End of the week. <laughs> end of the year pre-K party. Unfortunately, let me turn you so you can see. The weather is not that great. I haven't found parking. Hopefully the day will turn out to be better. I just have to wait here until the spot opens up. Uh, the drive in was okay. This is going to be, I think, what is it? Four days left, including today. It's really, really going by. I forgot to mention the play dates yesterday. We, this was the second round of play dates. They went really well. Unfortunately, we only met a handful of children and so next year is going to be a real big surprise. Uh, but they went really well. They're, they're super cute. You forget how little they are when they come into pre-K. Uh, some of them just turned four or are still three years old. Hey, it's Sam and I am waiting for parking. It's Monday, June 26th. And this is something that I will not miss over the summer. I'm trying to look for parking unless I'm coming to visit when it's not so bad. But when it it's part of my job. It's to be here. It's kind of frustrating. I'm sorry. It's not a great start to a Monday. Traffic wasn't bad. Um, but this is just so frustrating. I've been here since 6:45. It's 7:34 now. Um, so it's mm. anyway. I had a really great weekend on Saturday. Uh, my sister and her boyfriend took me and my boyfriend out for dinner at the Stone House in Jersey. And it was beautiful. The atmosphere was nice. The weather was good because it's been rainy, you know, off and on last week. And it's going to continue into this week. And then Sunday, we went to our friend's three-year-old birthday party. And he's had some health complications, uh, really serious ones. And he's doing pretty well now. Um, so the mom was like, this is a party for you all. And it was at a brewery, which I found hilarious. But it was fun. The food was good. It was pizza and sandwiches. Uh, yeah, so we're getting there two more days left and I won't have to deal with this parking. <laughs> I was about to get my coffee ready uh, for tomorrow. I like to set up everything the night before. I am home. I got home and I put dinner in the oven already. It's about four something. Um, I just set up my coffee like that. Currently I'm using the Kirkland Pacific Bold. Oh gosh. Uh, but welcome to the newest addition to our family. Uh, these are two water frogs that I got from the science teacher. She has pets that she uh, needs people to watch, but I get to keep these. I'm supposed to, I think, bring them back. I don't know if you see the other one on this side, but I told her I wanted two in case to get lonely. 
Uh, we're debating on, I'm debating on what to call them. I asked uh, my coworkers what they thought and we'll see. I'm gonna ask my family as well. I have to, I do have a bigger tank, don't worry. So this is the size of the tank. I do have a, a I mean the size of the, the bottle. I do have a bigger tank, but I need to get more spring water. Uh, because they could only have spring water and she even did science teacher even gave me some food here i'm excited i for some reason i wanted the i have had one of these before but my grandmother overfed it and killed it uh so i'm hoping these will do better and hopefully they they have a good life i want to get some stuff to put in here for them um maybe i'll go to the pet store and see what they have oh so yeah tomorrow's the last day i cannot believe it you know what let me turn you around hi tomorrow is the last day it was a good day today but i was the the humidity has been insane and it affects our air conditioner at the building that we're we have a newer building and we have we don't have the units we have like what i'm gonna assume is central air uh, but it wasn't working right and I was just sweating the whole day and it made me tired um, so One more day and I'm gonna get back to what I'm doing getting ready for dinner getting stuff ready for dinner And then getting ready for tomorrow as well. I pick out my outfits. I have to sh it's shower night So I will take a shower um, And I need to because I'm sweating all day today Hi, Today is officially the last day of school. It's Tuesday June 27th and I just can't believe it's here. I am, I thought I was gonna find parking because I was driving up the block and there was nothing available and it's usually like that, but I was like, come on today. Um, but there was this spot and it was big enough for me to park somewhat easily. And um, I can't believe it. Um, so right now I'm just getting ready. It's actually, I got here in about, um, 40 minutes or so 41 minutes 42 minutes which is I haven't had that for like the whole year so then I see my co-worker uh, coming down the block here hold on uh he just I just spoke to him he's the custodian and he was like last day I was like last day um so yeah I'm just getting ready and I'll I'll be back to talk to you a little bit more after I'm done with my makeup and everything. Yeah, so that's my makeup. I am about to go in a little bit earlier. It's, let's see, what time is it? It's about 7.15. I usually go in 7.20, 7.25. Luckily, I got parking, and that just solved so many stress-related issues for me. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit in the morning. We've started last, we started cleaning up last week. We took stuff down off the walls. We, I'm trying to put things away into cubbies and yeah, let's get this last day. I just, I can't believe it's here because at certain points throughout the year, it was really hard. Oh, there were a lot of good moments too, but you know how people just focus on the bad. It's just been a really tough, tough year. And um, it's a bitter, it's always a bittersweet time because you grow to love these children and you're with them for a lot of the day, for a majority, for, you know, you're there with them for six, seven hours and you get close to them. Uh, but it has been a very, very tough year and I can't wait to have a great last day. Hey, I am parked at my house and I just brought put everything on the steps. Let me show you. That's all the stuff at the bridge. And I cannot believe it. So we I got home, it's around 5.30 and I can't believe it's here. I know I probably have said that a million and one times, but it's true. And my teacher friend texted me and my other coworker that I used to work with texted me and was like, happy last day. And I'm here. And even like coming home, I mean, I, I kind of have road rage, but this time I only like, I didn't feel like I was going too crazy or was getting that upset. Um, I'm just, I don't have to do this now, but it's so full and I know I'm going to use my car this week a couple of times. So I'm taking out my garbage bag. I got that from Amazon. 
And I'm going to take that out. I don't put food stuff in here so it doesn't smell or anything. It's just like tissues and wrappers and things like that. That is not food related. But it is. I have stuff, so much stuff in here. It's ridiculous. So there's toothpicks and other things. Uh, yeah, so... I will kind of do like an overall um, end to the vlog later on, but I want to bring my stuff inside and just kind of sit and not think about anything. Cleaning up though, we were, so me, my teacher, we had a third person in the classroom, so that always makes life so much easier when you have an extra pair of hands. And we, we started last week. And we don't have a lot of clutter in our room. Like, I feel bad for the other classroom that we're with because they, it's a lot of clutter in there. I, it's, they had stuff under the sink. I had no idea. Uh, we try to keep our classroom neat. I mean, it does, for, in my opinion, it does get messy, but it's not like their classroom. Their classroom is a little bit too intense for me. Uh, it's, and I do, even though I'm sort of a hoarder, I do know that when I declutter, I feel good. That classroom needs a good declutter. That's just all that there is. Um, but we were done by 4.30. We were looking for stuff to do. And it might backfire on us, but the, we were following what the custodian told us to do with cleaning in regards to cleaning up. And he told us, no, you're pretty good. And if we have to do something different, we'll do something different next year. That's my words, not his. Uh, yeah, so we said goodbye to my teacher. I want to show... Oh, you know what? how I'm going to end this video? I'm going to end it... Uh, well, I wanted to do like an overall impression of the year. But also, I'll show you the gifts that I got for the end of the year. And it was just... these. Some of these families are truly amazing. And you could feel the appreciation that they feel um, in terms of us being with their children all day. Because we're with their children, as I think I mentioned before. A long part of the day and I was just talking to my teacher I mean this is not about the children but she's known me longer than she's known or she's with me longer than she's with her wife so it's just it's funny to think about it like that all right I will talk to you I'm home and I'll talk to you guys later hey it's Sam and I'm finally getting around to closing this last week of work vlog I took a few days just to really enjoy being off and not having to go to work uh, and then also celebrating my birthday since it was the next day after the last day of work I turned 40 and I guess it's a milestone birthday because I've gotten some gifts that indicate wow this is a big deal for me I don't really talk about my age that often and I'm stuck in I think that millennial mindset since I haven't reached traditional milestones my age is kind of like well and also that's I think it's like a made-up thing the age thing right um, I not I don't I haven't gotten married I don't have children um, so it's kind of like a weird feeling and not a bad I'm not feeling bad about my age it's just that this is where I'm supposed to be in my life right now. Um, I have had so many accomplishments, um, but there's a few things that are just like makes me wonder. But I am um, I'm feeling good, and I uh, people made me feel like my friends and family made me feel really special for my birthday. I didn't do anything big. I didn't have a big party, uh, and I'm not just not that type of person anyway. So we, I went to out to eat at a few places. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the places. Uh, I've just really, that's like my, one of my favorite things to do is go to a place, a new restaurant or a cafe or whatever, and really enjoy the food. <laughs> um, and I have that for, for my birthday. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that I wanted to mention, I am the only human in this home right now. And that is a rarity. Usually there's always somebody home besides me. Of course, the dogs are always here. We have three dogs in this home. Uh, two are mine and one is my sister. She lives with me. Her boyfriend is staying over at the moment, which he does frequently, which I don't mind. He's great. Uh, Steve is usually home. He was home up until 5. It's 5. It's about 5 p.m. He went to the gym. Then when he comes back, we're going to 
uh, go get something to eat and grocery shopping. We like to do a lot of things at nighttime. We, I personally don't like crowds and I just feel like there are certain times of the day or a day of the week that it gets just so intense. Sunday is usually one of them, uh, but we're going to go later tonight. And I thought I would share with you, uh, I had mentioned I'm going to show you some end of the year stuff that I got. Uh, one of them, oh, you know what? Hold on, let me bring those flowers. Uh, the first thing I want to share with you is from a family. They So originally it was much taller. Um, I cut them down though. They're hot pink carnations and it was just, I wasn't expecting it. And actually that family gave flowers to the entire staff. There's about eight of us there. And they gave it to every single person, which I thought was so lovely and not expected at all. She also put for me a happy birthday balloon, which I think this balloon is so cute. And the little girl was so excited. She's like, balloon, did you see? It was just adorable. So I want to definitely share that with you, which was so sweet. A lot of families, they remembered it was my birthday, wished me happy birthday. And even on our, so the school has like this app that we can communicate with families and they put in the messaging part, messages part, they have put um, happy birthday in there as well, which was super sweet. Uh, this family, now we did get one big gift from everybody, but certain families gave us extra stuff, which again, so much appreciated. This was uh, one of my favorite kids that we had this year. I mean, they were all great, but a few, you know, always stand out. He was just so sweet. A lovely card very lovely a small YSL perfume which is so nice I've been back into for a while I stopped not wearing fragrances but I just I don't know I wasn't too much into it uh, but I'm back on that train again and look at how cute this is really really nice the next thing is a Starbucks gift card and I really appreciate this because throughout the year, especially from the PTA, we get gift cards to places that are neighborhood specific to the school, which I totally understand, but it's so nice that I could use this gift card around here. And then the last thing she gave, which I was shocked, is a Lululemon belt bag. I think that's so awesome. So there's a pocket in the back here. And then inside, there are uh, pockets as well, but without a zipper. Uh, but she gave this to all of us in the classroom. There were three grown-ups, which I thought was just really, really... Some families, you could tell, took notice of those things. And this is not to knock... I feel bad. This is not to knock the other families that didn't. Um, but... This family in particular uh, throughout the year made us feel really appreciated and it was awesome. Okay, next I think our gifts from co-workers. Uh, so it's going to be a mix of birthday and end of the year stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, one of my, the other pair in the classroom, I had given her a huge bag of high chews from Costco. And so she returned the favor. And I've had these before. They're pretty good. Then I'm always, I don't want to call it complaining because it is my body and it's like, that's just how I feel. I'm always hot. It doesn't matter uh, where I am, what time of day. It's just, I always run hot. And so <laughs> she, she saw this, she's just like, she thought of me, which I, I started cracking up because this is hilarious to me and I want to try it. Hopefully it's not like bulky around the neck. My teacher was saying that she has something like this and she... Uh, uses it and she got uh she i forgot to give something for her dog she has a dog as well and she baked these um and hopefully i'm sure my dogs will love it daisy definitely will she's just a human a human she's just a, a doggy garbage can she just will eat anything and everything it's kind of scary sometimes ava these are peanut butter i don't know if i could get her to have it and then uh <laughs> this thing drives me crazy activity book she says she likes to do it I love these and they're all different too which is really cool I can't wait to use this and I thought it'd be it's a great gift for like the summertime you know 
when I'm because it's every day is Saturday. <laughs> That's what I was telling my coworker that uh, on the last day. Every day is gonna be Saturday for us. Um, and then a little girl, one of the little girls in our classroom, she gave me this. It's such a cute card. She gave me this card, and then she gave me. She's like, so you could get some ice cream. So this is a place around the neighborhood. Uh, that does ice cream and sodas and things like that. So what I'm planning on doing is taking Steve and we're going to do kind of like a, a date of all the places because I have about four or five gift cards for places around the neighborhood. And hold on, there's one more gift from the para that I have over there. Hold on. Okay. It was by the windowsill. She got me succulent and I've been trying to be better about plant care. I am a terrible plant person. I, uh, I have four big plants in another room and they're dying. All of them. All of them are dying. And I think part of the reason is I don't educate myself enough on the type of dirt that or soil or rock mixture or whatever for the plants. Uh, I've been propagating a lot, which has been working, uh, which is great to see results but the, my other big plants I can't um, seem to get them to live uh, they don't have a will to live anymore uh, but they got she got me this because of my history with plants uh, another co-worker got me uh, she got everybody which I thought was so generous and she she actually her last day was June 23rd um, because she was going on a European vacation which I was very jealous of uh, and she got us a wine a couple of years ago or a few years ago Josh uh, it was really good and then she got us this one which also is a red and I'm excited to use it it's from Spain Portocolo it's from Spain I don't drink red wine that often just because it makes I think I'm allergic to the sulfites in there it just whenever I drink it I go, I go like that because the sides of my mouth get feel weird I will drink it, but I don't think I should. It's just because it makes me feel weird. Okay, uh, next is, let's see here. What is another thing? Oh, one of my, the other teacher in the building, she gave everybody eye masks. I love mine. I'm obsessed. Well, okay, I don't want to say obsessed with strawberries, but love. And these feel, you could put, there's a, oh, sorry, there's a gel pack inside. I think it's gel. Yeah, it's a gel pack and you could freeze it or possibly heat it up. I'm not sure about the heating up part. A really nice mask. And then for my teacher, she got these. These are different rainbow cookies, right? She made those. Face mask. Socks. And uh, I'm super excited about these. These are the silicone masks. A silicone, not masks, sorry. Silicone baking cups. You don't even need a tin if you don't want to use it, which you can tell by the volume of voice. I'm so excited about that. Uh, pens. Love pens. And then the last thing is this candle from Hearth and Hand, a golden hour. It smells so good. It's when I smell this, I think of the beach or some resort, somewhere tropical. It smells really good. The only thing about that is it's a soy candle, and I'm allergic to soy, but that smells really good. I think I might still light it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this was a surprise. Um, I wasn't sure. Oh, and also I got a birthday cake as well from Milk Bar. That was a surprise as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram again, there uh, is a picture of the cake. It's their birthday cake. It's very popular. For us, for my family, it was good, but it was super, super sweet. Uh, but some of you might love that. But look at this packaging for this one. I love this combo. I could see this as like a dress or like some decor, it's beautiful. This is actually from my financial uh, advisor co company. And usually they sound like something really cheap and not that good. 
but they sent me and we have dug into it but they sent me brownies cookies uh it was really this was good it was good um i again like i guess for the milestone birthday my sister got me gifts steve i mean my it was really really a great last week of the last few days have been amazing and i'm just trying to see if there's one more thing oh my sister in particular she got me a gift card to sephora and some monies which was nice sephora i have about 200 dollars to spend there and i i don't know what to get give me some suggestions and then, uh yeah it was a tough year i will miss i will miss this class um and we don't know what the future is going to bring. You know, I travel from Jersey to Brooklyn and it's it's doable. I know some people have a tougher commute uh, than me, but I think it's I think it's pretty tough and it gets very expensive with the bridges. Usually I take two bridges going and two bridges back. Um and gas, my car cannot sustain a week if just talk about work monday to friday i can't make it the whole week which is frustrating um i love my car but if i continue to commute i might go to like a hybrid uh like my boyfriend's car he has a hybrid and he fills up maybe once every two weeks it'd probably be different for me just because i would travel a little bit longer but i wouldn't have to fill up as much and yeah so i'm just looking at my options i don't want to leave my school but also long term can i do this for another like 12 years uh traveling like that and i don't know if i can uh so yeah i don't want to end this on like a weird note i am i'm hopeful for the future and if i have to stay in my school I'm not gonna complain. I I love my school, I love the community, and it's not a bad place to be at all. I just am looking for somewhere closer. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Have a great summer and see ya.